President Mike Pence paying another visit to Southeast Michigan, this time headlining a fundraiser for Senate hopeful John James in West Bloomfield. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith was at the event. Matt, there's a lot of talk about potentially flipping the seat. How realistic is that right now? The likelihood that Republicans can flip a seat currently held by Debbie Stabenow depends on who you ask. Democrats would scoff at the idea, but Republicans, well, they have a little bit of hope because Vice President Pence bothered to even show up here, which means he thinks John James can win this seat. Air Force Two's landing marked Vice President Pence's second trip to Michigan just this month. With he and Senate hopeful John James walking side by side, the optics were clear. This trip is about building momentum and boosting his fundraising. While cash is key for James's campaign, the party may need him just as much. Hence his repeated point, a tiny majority for Republicans in Washington. But if you didn't notice in the United States Senate, those are pretty, pretty narrow numbers. That's why we need John James on Capitol Hill. Because Before that happens, James has an uphill battle against Debbie Stabenow. When asked about her declining a slate of six scheduled debates, opting for two late in the cycle, James hinted to me that perhaps Stabenow won't even show. This isn't about stalling until October and then potentially pulling out of the race, uh, pulling out of the debates at the last minute. This is not playing games. As for Pence, he stuck to the White House script, celebrating a newly minted trade deal with Mexico and new talks with Canada. He called on Congress to put Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh ahead for a vote, and time and time again. He talked about needing more juice on the Hill. But this election really is about a choice. It's a choice about whether we're going to have renewed Republican majorities, larger Republican majorities in the United States Senate, or whether we're going to continue to run in, run into the kind of obstruction that has literally set historic records. In terms of the size of this event, this was quite small, only about 120 people inside that room for that private event with the vice president. This was about raising money, but most people will likely point out the fact the vice president was here. His presence was more important than any dollars exchanging hand today. We're in West Bloomfield. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.